When it comes to calling functions, there are only two methods available to you within Excel. You can either call a function from within a sub procedure, or you can call a function from the actual cell in Excel. So if we take the degrees function working file, where we have two working functions, two Fahrenheit and two centigrade, and let's add a subroutine in here, so we can see that we can call one or other of our functions. So we're going to create a little subroutine has a variable to hold the answer of 2 centigrade 55. So we're going to take 55 degrees Fahrenheit and convert it into centigrade. And then we'll put the answer into a message box on the screen. So let's try that. It's called test. We can run that in the immediate window and we get 12 point lots of sevens. 55 degrees Fahrenheit becomes 12.7 degrees centigrade. Let's just change that to prove it works. 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is zero centigrade. So we know that's working. So that's using your function within a subroutine. Or we can go to Excel and use the function actually on the spreadsheet. So let's take a number of values, 28 to 30. Take those all up to 50. And then we'll use one of our own functions. So they work the same as a built-in functions, equals two. Sen, and you can see it appears in the tooltip. So 2 centigrade, give that a double click, choose that cell, return, and 28 degrees Fahrenheit effectively converting to centigrade is minus 2.2. We can replicate that down as you can with any other function. 32 is 0, 44 is 6.6666667. To make sure that our functions are working correctly, let's use the other one to convert this value back. So that's equals 2 Fahrenheit in the list. Choose that cell there, return, and you can see it then goes back to the original value. So our function must be spot on. So that's 2 centigrade and 2 Fahrenheit. We can call on them just as we can call on any of the Excel built in functions by simply typing 2, start to type the function, and you'll see it appears in the list. Alternatively, if we do it on an empty cell, we can go to FX and choose User Defined in the groupings. And you'll find that your two functions are in there, or however many functions you've got. You can then double click and then choose the cell you're trying to convert. OK, and the formula works. So the formulas can be called on from an Excel cell or from inside a sub procedure itself, but nowhere else. Unlike a sub procedure that can be called from a variety of locations, the function only has two places to be called from an Excel cell or a sub procedure.